To begin the disassembly of your HTC Evo Shift 4G, you'll first need to remove the battery back door housing cover from the phone. Next, you will need to remove the battery as well as micro SD card and SIM card from your phone. Using a Torx 5 screwdriver, you will need to remove the following four screws, two at the bottom, two at the top of the phone. Using a safe open pry tool, you will now run it along the sides of the back bezel releasing the clips holding that in place. Next, you will now remove two Phillips double zero size screws from the phone. Next, using a safe open pry tool, you will now need to release one flex cable on the right side of the phone. You can now safely release the motherboard from the phone. With the motherboard now removed, you will now need to remove eight Torx 5 screws from the keyboard housing on your Evo Shift 4G. You can now safely remove the keyboard from the Evo Shift 4G. With the keyboard now removed, use a Torx 5 T5 screwdriver and remove two screws from the back housing of the phone, one at the top, one at the bottom. Using a safe open fry tool, you will now go ahead and release the two clip plastic frames at the top and the bottom of the housing. Once you remove these two clip frames, you will notice that there are two additional screws under them. You will need to go ahead and remove these two screws as well. With those screws now removed, you can now release the keyboard's flex cable. Next, using a safe open pry tool, you will now release the metal bracket on the back of the housing. Be careful during this process because it is held in by a little bit of adhesive that you will need to go ahead and go around. Next, you will need to release the two flex cables held in by jawbone connectors on the bottom of the housing. Please note, you do need to flip the jawbone connectors up to be able to pull the flex cables out of these connections. With the flex cables now released, you can go ahead and flip the flex cable all the way up as well as remove the flex cable of your digitizer screen in place. With these flex cables now removed from the back housing, you can go ahead and use a hot air heat gun or a blow dryer and heat up the front panel of your touchscreen glass digitizer's housing.
Once enough heat has been applied, you will notice that your LCD panel will actually come loose from the phone's housing by itself. If it does not, just use a safe open pry tool and gently release the LCD from the housing. Now there is one additional flex cable on the back housing holding your digitizer in place. You will need to release this flex cable which is also held in by a jawbone connector. With the digitizer's flex cable now released, we do recommend turning the phone back over and heating up the front panel housing assembly to loosen up the adhesive holding your touchscreen glass digitizer to the actual housing. Use a hot air heat gun or a blow dryer during this process. Once adequate heat has been applied, you can use a safe open pry tool or spudger to simply remove the front panel digitizer glass from its housing. Be careful during this process not to damage your actual housing. Once you have loosened up the adhesive and released it, you will now need to pull the flex cable of your touchscreen glass digitizer through the hole on the top of the housing. Once that has been completed, you can now go ahead and replace the touchscreen glass digitizer and or LCD display panel on your Evo Shift 4G.